Sorry for the hoarse voice. <clears throat> the voice. Amen. But we believe that uh, you will be able to hear. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. The Lord is gracious. The Lord is gracious. Amen. Amen. Psalms chapter 51 verse 10. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is gracious. The Bible says create in me a clean heart O God. Create in me a clean heart O God. And renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. And do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed. Oh God, the God of my salvation and okay. And my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. I want you to follow the pattern of this prayer. What David has discovered is that you cannot minister to the people before God ministers to you. I want you to notice the pattern in this scripture. He says, create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within me. And then he says, cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Continue. Restore unto me. Continue. And then he says, then I will teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Are we together? Then he continues, verse 14. He says, deliver me from blood guiltiness and then I shall sing aloud thy righteousness. So the pattern is if you do not work on me, I cannot work on others. I cannot sing aloud if you have not taught me the song. In our generation, something went wrong. Something went wrong. Amen. Amen. Yes, it's not recent that it got to this level. Amen. I'm actually, it's you that I'm telling. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. As simple as that. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Something happened to our generation at the level of what we are taught. I have learned recently that what we call falsehood is not trivial. When you say there are false prophets in the land, you're not just talking about charlatans. Charlatans. Bayaye. You're not talking about fraudsters. Are we together? You're not talking about conmen. Just. 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 Boka. Boka. 
Are we together? We talk about falsehood. You're not talking about people that are fraudulent. You're talking about error in the doctrine. You're talking about people that have tapped into an alien spirit that have tapped into an alien spirit. Amen. Amen. They have entered into a spiritual dimension that is not godly. If you think that is trivial, it isn't. Because when someone who stands on the podium taps into an alien spirit, Uriahs die. And Uzas die. Warriors die. And ministers also die. Because the principle in the spiritual world is if men don't align with what is in the heart of the Father for a generation, men align with that which is not God. And once men align with that which is not God, then that which they have tapped, aligned into, or tapped into, aligned with, or tapped into, Amen. Amen. Finds expression in that generation. Finds expression. Amen. Amen. And, Era. praise the name of the Lord, Amen. and Era. each time you tap into a spirit, moyo. Brokwa, brokoma, tapping, tapping, moyo. and that spirit begins to work through you. It could even give you dividends of hosting it. Like when you welcome a visitor. Amen. 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 The visitor may come with chicken and local eggs from the village. So when you host a spirit, it comes what we call the visitors. No, no, what we call the visitors. When you host a a spirit as one who hosts a visitor. Amen. Amen. The spirit will come with the dividends. Amen. Amen. With gifts. So, you could even get some money because of that spirit. You could get a job because of that spirit. You could get marriage because of that spirit. Those, those are the dividends of hosting a spirit. Are we together? But each time a spirit is hosted, it also Era. brings or comes with it its nature. The nature of that spirit. What does that mean? When a spirit comes, there is a covenant it is going to require for it to stay in you and to work either through you or for you. Are we together? Once you go into that truth, that covenant, 
you could receive, I repeat this because of my interpreter, I'm trying to bring her on the same page. Are we together? You could get the dividends that come because of the truth. Amen. Amen. Are we together? But then after that, as it is with every type of covenanting, the one you covenant with has a nature and their nature whereas it is not envisaged in the covenant it is part and parcel of that covenant so when the spirit is hosted, if it is alien, you could host it because you want to increase numerically in your ministry. You could host it because you want to get children, both spiritually and physically. As long as it is not a right spirit, are we together? If you enter covenant, this is the third time I'm, I'm, I'm attempting this. If you host it and make a covenant with it, whereas it will give you the other part which we call the dividends of hosting a spirit, amen, it also wants to find expression. Expression. Amen. Amen. Not just working for you, but it also wants a body to work through. That's where alien spirits become dangerous. That's where a false prophet or an evil spirit's miracle becomes dangerous. A miracle would be okay if the spirit that brought it has no interest to find expression in the life of the one unto whom the miracle has been bestowed. Even that is right. Amen. But have you understood the point? Yes, miracles. I went to this person. I went to this person. They prayed for me. The thing has gone. The thing has focused. The thing has gone. Somebody said it went. The dreams have changed. We thank God for that. That would be okay. Because you no longer feel the pain. The challenge is that that spirit that gave to you a miracle has intentions. Amen. If the spirit is not right, the intentions won't be right. If the spirit is right, the intentions will be right. Now, an evil spirit that has done a miracle wants to find expression in the body, in the life of this individual that has received its miracle. Amen. Amen. If Adam hosts evil wisdom, Cain will use that wisdom to kill his brother. Because the spirit that led them into this knowledge was alien to God. Please go back to the scriptures. The spirit comes in Eden. No. I don't want to retrogress. I don't want to even digress. Amen. 
When the spirit comes, it speaks to these individuals. Long story short, it gives to them an alternative way to reaching a certain dimension of wisdom. God tells them, do not eat of this tree. For those who have not yet understood, they eat of the tree. So the source of the wisdom they are going to have because they ate of the tree is not a right spirit. Because the source of eating that tree is not a right spirit, the spirit having given them access to a certain wisdom Amen. Amen. It now wants to find expression in the lives of those it gave access to wisdom. And because spirits have natures, now in the day of Cain, having knocked at the door of Cain, and Cain having opened for it, it enters the life, the heart, the lifestyle of Cain and because it's a spirit of death it now looks for someone to kill. Are we together? I want you to notice something here. When David says create in me a clean heart O God and renew a right spirit within me he is trying to reveal to us that if a person never comes to this place where their hearts are delivered from the old nature, the old portals, the old wisdoms that were alien and were outside the Jew resdiction of God. That we are outside the wheel, the corridors, the precincts of God. And if one does not come to a place where they ask God for a renewal of a right spirit within them, then a person can use the name of Jesus to do what benefits Satan. It benefits Satan. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He can use everything that God has given to them to promote Satan's kingdom. The wisdom that Cain is about to get that his father opened for him through sin by eating of the tree is the wisdom that God created not for them at that time to understand. Maybe it was going to be given to them Are we together in the future having mastered the art through maturity how to master evil and good. Master are we together through maturity having mastered good and evil so they could have eaten of it before that maturation and any information you get before you have capacity to contain it that information can work to the contrary of your development somebody say amen are we together amen, amen. amen. glory to God amen. so Cain gets a wisdom that is sourced from evil. See how he's going to use it. He's going to use the same wisdom to call his brother to the field and murder him. 
Because you have heard about murders and have seen murders before and watched movies where the assassin you take that statement trivial. On the day Cain calls Abel he needs a high level of wisdom to murder a person for these three reasons. The first reason is murder is unprecedented. He is the first murderer but you need to understand Jesus reveals to us that Satan was a murderer and a liar from the beginning. So the spirit that is in Cain that has given him wisdom to lure his brother is by nature a murderer. Mm-hmm. So whereas Cain now is numbered among those that are wise, he has Machiavellian crafty ways of luring a man. Please, I want your eyes to open about Cain. Are we together? In a new way. Glory to God. Amen. No one has ever killed anyone. But then, he is able to decipher. He's able to design. He's able to comprehend how a man can slay a man without reading books and without seeing it. Who is in Cain that is killing Abel? Who is the killer that Cain recently discovered? How did he discover him? He discovered him as one that has alternative wisdom. He discovered him through his father's weakness. So the father went out of God and imported a spirit. This spirit has given to their family riches of understanding. I don't know whether you can expand what I just said. They have gotten blessings. Their church has grown. On the day of Adam, everything is moving on. They now know good. They they know good. And they know evil. Because of another spirit that is not right. So they can testify. Praise the Lord. We got to know knowledge of good and evil. But they never say the source of that provision. The spirit is wrong. What they exhibit looks to be good. They are increasing in knowledge. Are we together? I repeat this for the last time. Because the devil who did good for them is not good by nature. He's good by politicking. by market strategies. Amen. Amen. His nature is bad. So after he gives you what is good, he then wants to reveal his nature through you. Are you with me? Cain Cain lures his brother ascend, ascend, Abel Abel is a spiritual man. That means for Cain to have lured a spiritual man without the spirit's man's spirituality, seeing that someone is planning evil, 
for him. Kaini okusena sendo msajo uomo yu. Ngono msajo uomo yu tatege de. Amen. This spiritual man could not decipher it that someone is planning evil for me. It means that there was some witchcraft there. Trying to expand something there. For people that are normal, people that are normal, spiritually astute, are we together? To be lured by a falsehood and to destruction reveals that there is witchcraft. That's why Paul reveals it to the Galatians. Galatians, Galatians who started in the spirit. Abels who gave worship that God accepted. That meant spirituality. Together. How could you want to conclude in the flesh? And then he says, who bewitched you? Whereas we understand witchcraft as black magic, the African voodoo, where someone has talismans, Someone has black stones, black stones, skulls of the dead. There is a dimension of witchcraft that trivializes all that as kindergarten. Somebody say amen. amen. And that is the witchcraft of wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. Amagezi. The wisdom Amagezi. of Satan Agasitan. that is at play when Cain calls Abel. Wo. Kaini you had never thought about. How do spiritual men Abasajabomoyo. Adam is still alive? Adam Achari Mulamu. Eve is still alive. Abel is a worshiper. How come no one of the trade is able to see that mayhem is on the horizon? I don't know whether your eyes are opening. It's because what is at play has an alien wisdom. The witchcraft unto the church of Galatia was not from shrines. It was from brains. Who bewitched you? Who twisted your mind? That's why the Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God. To the what? To the pulling down of strongholds of the mind. Because after pulling down strongholds, we bring down false imaginations which, which are in the mind that exalt themselves above the knowledge of God. Glory to God. They are wits and wisdoms they are wisdoms, well, you are well, together tuliwamu. that by nature, chago, by design, yago, if they come to you, jajoli, their argument uh -huh, can gloat over 
your reasoning. That's why in the NIV, let's go back to the NIV. The Bible says, demolishing argument and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So what is happening to the church of Galatia is that there is a level of argument. Yeah, there is a level of of conversation that has twisted their spirituality to follow Cain to the field where they are to be destroyed. To be destroyed. Context. Amen. I don't want to lose this. Abel should see this. Because he has given his body as a living sacrifice. It is holy. It is holy. And it has been accepted. God does not accept a sacrifice if he has not accepted the sacrificer. So, Abel's dimension of ministration reveals his lifestyle in the spiritual realm. In other words, the rank of his spirituality is seen in how God receives that which he ministers before him. Are we together? I'm trying to show you who Abel is for you to see the power of alien wisdom. You ask yourselves how can a person who used to have relationship with God a person who used to be prayerful a person who used to preach a true doctrine. How could they be now in the field preaching from a different spirit? If you found Abel in the field with Cain before Cain killed him. I'm going to show you how a man of God can be blindfolded by alien wisdom, by witchcraft. And after a while, they find themselves preaching for Cain in the field where Cain is the principality. Uh -huh. Context. Because Cain is good when it comes to fields. That is his normal zone. Context. He brings him to a terrain. Amen. He brings him to a terrain where he is the master. Abel goes there without designing. You have never thought about that. A preacher can change his message from what God called him to preach. From attending sheep to now field marshal ministry.
and your eyes begin to open. As a shepherd, a good shepherd, Abel, Abel, under the spell of demonic wit, demonic wit, yes, speak out confidently. Uh -huh. Spell of demonic wit. Chova do gambie. Olo mashalevra kasa. Uh huh. Under the spell of demonic wit, demonic wisdom. He's brought to a place. Amen. He's brought to a place. The way they bring Jesus on the pinnacle of the temple through. That same wisdom. They bring Abel to this place. Abel loses immunity. Because he has left his terrain. What is behind that departure? There is a wisdom of a wrong spirit. When Cain gets the wrong spirit, he is able to reveal the whole nature of Satan. So, once the church or a church as an individual don't ask God for a clean heart and a right spirit they can do everything that Cain did having received a wrong spirit he began to speak with a demonic wisdom. He says, Abel, come. Abel, come. Abel. Abel can serve the Lord. Abel, Abel has been serving the Lord. He is an intercessor. His intercession is accepted. His ministry is a good ministry. His prayers are good prayers. Cain opens his heart for an alien spirit after he was warned by God. God reveals to him that the spirit is at your door knocking it desires go back to verse 6 it desires somebody say it's desire it, it, has, it has a desire yes 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 it desires New King James Version. It desires for you. It wants you. But you should rule over it. This is a spirit. Cain does not rule over it. So he hosts a wrong spirit. Because of, a, of an unclean heart. Am I helping someone here? So, he tells him, if you do not master or rule over it, give me one version, eh? let's keep the, the, uh, the New King James Version. No, no, no. Let's keep, let's keep, but you must master it. Let's, okay, let's keep that one. Keep NIV. Yeah? Until I ask you for another one. Amen. It desires to have you. It has been crouching at your door. But if you do right, will you not be accepted? If you do right, 
If the spirit is right, you won't your works be accepted. Cain, Cain opens for an alien spirit. Alien spirit comes with alien wisdom. It knows how to invent murders. Amen. Amen. It brings him out of his domain. I'm teaching. Satan cannot attack you and rule over you when you are still in your domain. Let's read. Continue. And, uh, and Cain calls Abel. Be with me. Now Cain said to his brother, Let's go out to the field. Come out of your domain and come to my domain. I'll repeat this. Satan, Satan needs to pick you out of your domain for him to have dominion over you. Are we together? The Bible says, let's go to four. Look, four. From Genesis 4, pause, let's go to look 4. The Bible says, Bible and Satan took Natwala Jesus Yesu to ku a high mountain. Even here, verse 4, he brought him to Jerusalem, set him on the pinnacle of the temple. But I want the mountain. Then the devil, taking him up on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in one moment of time. Go to, go back to Genesis 4. So, his ways are he will pull you out of your domain. Domain before Dominion. Amen. Amen. Your natural habitat. He brings him Amuleta. to the field. Monimido. And while they were in the field, he attacked his brother, Abel, and killed him. He could not kill him in his domain. He changed domain to attack him and prevail over him. Please listen to this. When he brings him on the high mountain, he shows him all the kingdoms in a twinkling of an eye. The Bible uses the word set up. Verse 7. Amen. Amen. 7, please. No, no, no. Nine, verse nine, four, nine. Set him on the pinnacle. Now, I want to bring the word set. I want to bring the word set. I want to, I've slowed down. I want to bring in the word set. Setting. 
Okumuteka. When Cain brings Abel, Cain Abel he sets him amuteka, in a place mchifo, where he can attack him kumulumbi, and kill him. Namuta, the killing okuta, has never happened. How does he know Ategera atia. where to hit Awokuba. in order for Abel to die? Abel because if you punch, because he does not know where the heart of a person is, he does not know Tamani. the purpose of the nose. Because sometimes he touches it and he does not die. Natafa. He blocks the nose and he realizes he is still breathing. He does not know whether the brain of a person is in the leg. Because if he gets to know that the brain is in the leg, then he will strike the leg. He gets to know that the heart is in the leg, then he will strike that part of the leg. For Cain to kill Abel. There is someone at work in him. And that's the nature of an evil spirit. He strikes him right. He attacks him and kills him. Now, you think you understand that scripture? You've not yet gotten it. Until I go back to David. That's why I've taken long here. He strikes him. Kills him. Where does he strike? Who tells him where to strike? That is wisdom. For the false prophets to be able to hit the church hard, they have alien wisdom. To have attacked Galatia, a place where Paul preached, and on his returning, he finds people he preached to the right doctrine and now in the wrong doctrine. It's because Cain, the one who changes the mind of the Galatians of Abel, has an alien spirit. I know my for a person to be false in a generation where we have YouTube, where people can access truth on Google, truth about marriage, truth about giving, the Bible is no longer locked, it is open. It's not like in the days before Martin Luther before, where, where it's only the priests that had the Bible. People can access the Bible. But for a person to have deceived men who are educated to bring them to a field where they have to carry water, they can't see it. For a blessing. Are you connecting everything? It is witchcraft. So Abel thinks he is in the field with his brother. But his brother has an understanding he doesn't know. He has an understanding of how to grow church outside God. He has an understanding of how to expand in riches outside God. Abel is innocent. The only thing he knows 
is how to minister right before God. A man of God is about to be slain by the man of Satan. He attacks him and kills him. He's now gone. Continue. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? The answering of Cain is not Cain answering. This is now going to reveal to us who is in the shell called Cain. The one behind the murder. This is typical of Satan. I do not know. I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Satan in Adam answers the same way. Adam where are you, Adam? Adam Oliwa. Let's read it. I want, I, want to, I want to show you the nature of a wrong spirit. Somebody say, create in me and, and renew a right spirit. Where are you? Oliwa. He answered, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked so I hid. Continue. And he said, who told you that you were naked? So even to know the word naked was demonic wisdom. Because they had never been naked. So who told you what nakedness is? My babies don't know nakedness or nudity. The doctrine I've been teaching you has not been talking about nakedness. The fruits you've been eating of don't open your eyes to no nakedness. Who told you? He's asking which wisdom has revealed to you what I did not reveal to you. The nature of a wrong and a bad spirit in man. Then he says, Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat? Have you walked out of your domain? Have you trespassed? Have you stepped out to a territory where you are not safe? They continue. Then man said, the woman you put here, you put here with me. She gave me some fruit from the tree and I ate it. Am I my brother's Keeper. I wish your eyes could see the way you see things. You would have seen the statement, Am I my brother's keeper? 
This statement, ladies and gentlemen, if you're with me, say amen. Is telling God, go back to King, King James Version, it's telling God, Lord, you put a person here. I'm not in charge of these people. Since I'm fuga, I don't keep her. Since I'm kuma, so she came with a fruit. And I ate it. I'm not my brother's keeper. Since I'm kumi wamganda wangi. No. Neda. Adam. Adam. Don't lie. Toliba. When I created you. Kutonda, and formed you. Kuf... And put you. In Eden. I told you. Kugamba, to keep. Kuma, Eden. Adeni. And everything they are in. You cannot say the woman you put here. So what Adam is saying, not Adam of course, the nature of the source. Amen. Of the wrong spirit. is saying you created two centers of power. Centers of power. Centers Amen. Somebody say amen. Mm -hmm. you, he's telling God. Whereas you told me to keep the garden, but you have put here another person. And if he brings it out good. You put, you put her here. There is another center of power. So we have two gravitational forces. I'm not, the only, I'm not the epicenter of everything here. There's another person here that you put here the way you put me here. So maybe when you told me not to eat, you told her to eat. Which wisdom is that? The center of that wisdom is an alien spirit. She gave me to eat and I ate because the confidence she was using to eat could have meant that someone can you focus focus told her to eat. She gave me. It's me that has been giving her this time. She gave me. And uh, let's go. Uh, New King James. New King James. I want you to do something. The woman whom you gave to be with me gave me of the tree and I ate. Let's go back to Cain. Who is behind the statement? Who is behind the statement? Am I my brother's keeper? Is it Cain? Let's continue. And he said, What you have done, the voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Let's continue. So now, you are cursed from the earth which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. Satan has achieved through the vessel called Cain. Satan is looking for God when he is deploying Cain. When Adam fell, Adam Whereas God got angry, he never cast man. Satan did not see it as a victory. God cast the ground 
Katonda ya koli mire taka. He cast Satan. Na koli mire Satan. Let's go back to that. Katudeo. Chapter 3 Genesis. Olvede mire Satu. Talking about evil or a wrong spirit. Njogira kumoyo mchamu. In a person, how Satan achieves when men don't have the right spirit. So the Lord said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cast more than all cattle. Are we together? Go to Adam. Continue. You shall eat dust all the days of your life. And to Adam he said, because you have hid to the voice of your woman, of your wife. And you have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you, saying, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake. Now let's go to Genesis 4. Of course, you're going to toil, you're going to eat from your sweat. So now you are cast from the earth. The curse there is directed to the person. Earlier on, it was directed to Satan. So Satan worked and Satan was cursed. In this case, Satan works through man and man is cursed. The first curse lands on image and likeness of God. You don't get it. When God says to Cain, you are cursed. Cain is in the image and the likeness of God. What has Satan achieved? God has attacked a God. These are scriptures you've read before. Let us journey. When people get the wrong spirit, God turns to become their enemy. Please listen to that. When you have the wrong spirit within, when God comes to Cain, he tells him, cast are you now. The curse lands on the person. And from that day, the person is going to become a vagabond. Continue on the earth. He's going to move. Go to verse 12. When you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. So, the reason why people die because of Poverty without divine provision is not because of the devil. It's because of the spirit that lives in them. If you move with me, you will understand things you've never heard. The ground is not going to yield her increase. That means they are going to go to Oxford for a, for a bachelor's, get the bachelor's degree after getting seed which is the bachelor's degree, they will bring it to the government, they will saw it looking for a job. Put their degree in the ground and it will be swallowed. Educated, but not employed. The ground will not yield her increase for you. The people you went with to school, we also go to their countries back in Africa. Africa their degree degrees are will be sown and the earth the governments will bless them. Government you, you will not be blessed. So, 
The reason that's why people die impoverished is because of the nature of the spirits that are in them. The nature of the spirit in a person is determined by the heart of a person. Somebody say amen. amen. But I'm not talking about the heart so much. But they are interlinked. Somebody say amen. amen. So when you meet Cain, as a motivational preacher, are you people following this message? And you begin to tell Cain, you can make it. You tell somebody shout hallelujah. No gamba. Gamba hallelujah. Cain, Cain. I don't care si what you've gone through. I don't care si about your past. Um, for your future is great. Go, future yo, nene. Do you notice Ochizura. that what you're preaching is against what God said? The words sound good. But the principle has incarcerated Cain never to tap into the blessing of God. I'll repeat that differently. Are you with me? Where are the mature people here? So we have a church that has moved out of the ways of God but it has increased therein. The ground is supposed to reject you. How come? Okay, let's continue. The, the field shall not yield its increase. A fugitive and a vagabond you shall be on earth. And Cain said to the Cain Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Not forgive me. Not forgive me. Because the nature that is in him does not ask for forgiveness. It's the same nature we see in Adam. The woman you gave to me. Who is speaking? A wrong spirit. So when you see people not repenting, it's not because the message that is pertaining to repentance did not come to them. No. It's because it came. It is because it came. It is because it came. But it found hearts and spirits that were not right. So do you see do you see Saul, King Saul in this scripture? Judge me. But don't go far. Don't do it here. As in judge me. Ju judge me. But it is too much. Rebuke me. But don't go beyond what I can bear. I have an ego to protect. So rebuke me little. I cannot bear this. That's what is in the church today. When you preach the truth, instead of people saying, forgive me Lord, they say, we cannot bear this, this truth. This is judgment. That's what is in the church today. Let's continue. Surely you have driven me out this day. I shall be hidden from your face. I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth. And it will come to, it will happen or come to pass that anyone who finds me will kill me. Self-centeredness. Self-centeredness. The, the nature of Satan. The unright spirit. Features self. The word me is repeated there. You have I is there. 
I shall be. I shall be. All together, it will happen to me. There is a featuring of self. The nature of Satan or the nature of an unright spirit is self-oriented. Continue. 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 And the Lord said to him, Therefore, whoever kills Cain, vengeance shall be upon him seven times. And the Lord put a, a mark on Cain, lest anyone find him and kills him. Why does he put a mark on him? Because he wants Cain not to die early. Not because he has loved him. No. He wants him to feel the pain of the curse. If Cain dies early, it will be a loss to God. So you have been reading this as if God relented with Cain. Mm -hmm. No, he put a mark on him that he may live as an example of a lineage that walks out of God. Guess what happens? Continue 16. Then Cain went out from the presence of the Lord with the wrong spirit and dwelt in the land of Nod, east of the Eden. Continue. And Cain knew his wife. She conceived Bo Enoch and built a city with the wrong spirit. He has now built a city. Somebody say, holy cities with unholy spirits. And he named the city the name of his son Enoch. Enoch those who walk with God until they are no more outside the presence of God the man has built a city in an unrighteous spirit and he's growing looking like one who is winning are we together? outside God so when we talk about falsehood when we talk about evil hearts we are talking about an issue of emergency Emergency. Somebody say amen. amen. It's an issue. An I see you issue. If the church does not deal with hearts and spirits, we are going to build big outside God and the generation shall rise. The whole lineage after that. Let me show you the lineage here. Quickly, of people with unclean spirits. Amen. Amen. Continue there. And Enoch was born. Irad. And Irad begot Mehujael. And Mehujael begot Methuselah. And Methuselah begot Lamech. Now listen. Lamech took for himself two wives. The nature of Satan has now taken them to the next level. Somebody say amen. From polytheism, from, from monotheism, to polytheism. The first time it is mentioned, who taught Lamech how to marry the other wife or a second wife? Please read the Bible the one reading it. There is another invention and the name of one was called Ada. The name of the other was called Zila. Amen. Amen. Continue. And the Adabo Ajabar. 
He was the father of those who dwell in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all those who play the harp of the, and the flute. Go back, please. Don't jump that. In their lineage, with evil, they have now invented what Lucifer used to do in heaven. Before the lineage of Adam, are we together? Seth, these ones have invented playing the harp. They have introduced music. They have introduced music. Music. Are we together? The flute and the harp. Let's continue. Let's leave mm -hmm. And as for Zila, Zila uh, she also bore Tabao Cain. Nazala an instructor of every craftsman. I'm talking about the, the nature of a spirit. Are you with me? An instructor of every craftsman <laughs> in bronze and iron and the sister of Tobal Cain was Nema. Please don't leave that. May your eyes open to see what I just read. You, don't, you have not seen it. A man has invented warfare in Talo. In Talo. In Talo. He has invented spears. Craftsmen in bronze. Are you getting that? You had missed that. Who are you going to fight with? Wait a minute. Fight with? My nature is war. I'm at war with men. We sit in the next verse. Because of what they had invented, Lamek kills a man for wounding him, even a young man for hurting him. So what wounds a person? Tools of bronze. Are we together? Now, death. What is that? That is war. So after spirits that are not godly invent the tools that trigger the nature of ungodliness in a person. Uh -huh. Are we together? Now they have tools to wound each other. It's the first time we are seeing wounded by another and vengeance. Did you get that? My generation, may the Lord open our eyes to read the scriptures with understanding. So there is vengeance here. That's the nature of Satan. Today, the church is full of vengeance. Who is behind the vengeance? Creating me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. I've just given to you the nature of a wrong spirit. Long story short, we understand what I talked about yesterday. The reason why David cries this way, give me strings and raise the volume. Raise the volume a little bit. 
David David had the nature of an alien spirit when he saw Bathsheba bathing what was that nature am I my brother's keeper do I keep for Uriah why did you do it it's not me it's the travelers And I ate. I ate Bathsheba. That I knew was not mine. I stepped out of my jurisdiction. And I did. That which. Kings should not do. And because of the nature of that spirit that lives in me. I killed a man. For fear of vengeance. Are you seeing Lamech in David? When you have a wrong spirit, you cannot do right things. Whether they have anointed your head with oil and your cup runs over in 23 of Psalms, you must come to 51 of Psalms. You must come to the reality that whereas I came to Jesus, are we together? The spirit wants, but the body is weak. I have come with Jesus to the mountain of prayer the place where Elijah and Moses live the place of transfiguration the garden where prayer is hard the garden where prayer is hard where the father hears the son where conversations that are godly that are dead in nature are held. And yet in that presence, I am sleeping. You did not get that. I am sleeping in a place where God the Father is conversing with God the Son. Same locus. I am sleeping there. The spirit in me is about to be revealed. Because when Jesus comes, he tells them there is something that is not right. There is a part of you that wants out together. But there is another part of you that you have not dealt with. There is a Christos. Mafuta. Mafuta. There is an anointing that is on you that wants. But Paul reveals Paul that Chabi when I wanted to do right, when I evil came before me. Where was the evil coming from? Yet he had the consciousness to do good. Anointing is not more powerful than the nature of your spirit. If your spirit is not renewed, if your heart is not cleansed, if you are anointed to become wealthy, it is in that wealth that you're going to build a city to fight God. You're going to build iron and bronze tools against God's kingdom. You're going to preach a message from the field of Cain. Ladies and gentlemen, the church needs to come to this realization. 
We talk about revival. I've told you this before. Revival will surely come. But the nature of revival is not the same as the nature of Satan. You cannot have the nature of Satan's spirit and pray a true prayer for revival. When people say God is bringing revival, let me help you to understand something. I don't know whether you understood the level of this message. It's not that Africa does not pray. Africa prays. But we pray from the wrong spirit. When people talk about revival, people are praying for a type of revival where wealth is transferred from the wicked to the righteous. That's what they see, which is biblical. That's the only thing they see. When revivals come, people come to church. Churches have big numbers. We are going to be big. And wealth will be transferred. He causes the wicked to pile wealth for the righteous to take it. When the spirit is wrong, when you read the Bible, you read it wrongly. Your interpretation of scripture and thus which culminates into doctrine it is all wrong. That's what is going on. People have dreams that they call godly. You cannot dream good. You cannot dream good when the spirit is wrong. of that which brought Christ was truth and nothing else but the truth. If the revival we are anticipating is to bring more wealth, then that is not the revival as a result of the nature of God. God wants a type of revival that makes men to break down, that makes egos to break down, that takes away virgins from the pastors that are fighting pastors old prophets that are fighting young prophets. That is not the nature of the spirit that can bring a revival in a generation. The prayer of revival is not fabulation. No, it is a revelation. It is a life discovered from God. It is the nature of the Spirit of God that brings revival. It is the nature of the Spirit of God that brings revival. Not words of men. 
when we begin to live when we host the right spirit because the spirit comes in a person wants to find expression through the life of that person when it comes upon you it's going to begin living in you and that life is what we call revival revival is not just a prayer request no it is a hosting of a spirit that wants to live through you. Hosting a spirit that wants to live through you. Allowing it to live through you. Not just prayer requests. We should stop just praying for revival. We should begin living for revival. Paying the price for revival. Refusing to eat for revival. Refusing to work that way for revival. Refusing to take every opportunity for revival. Not just talking about revival. About revival. The church must search out the deep matters before we talk about revival. We cannot have unity which is a catalyst for revival without having the right spirits. I cannot unite with you if the spirits are not united. And an evil spirit cannot unite with a right spirit. That's why some marriages can't work because the spirits are not the same. You're not of the same tribe. God chooses and says, Your descendant shall not come from Hagar, but Sarah. She is your tribe mate. Father, we ask you reveal to us the nature of spirit that lives within, that lives within. Show me Daga. who lives in me. Anya vera monse. Reveal me Bikurira. to me Bikurira. that I may cry the cry. Sobalo kava. Lament the lamentation. Okukungu vaga. Pray the prayer. Oksabe sala. Create in me Ntonda mu. a clean heart Omtima mlongu. and renew Era a right spirit. Remove the spirit of Cain, the spirit of a murderer, the spirit that kills because of competition, competition. that I may love men the way you love them, that I may bring people close, not because of what they do for me. Not because of what they do for me. But because of the truth of your love in me. That I may forgive those who have hurt me and wounded me. That I may separate the spirit of Satan 
from the men that Satan used to hurt me. Peter, Peter get behind me. Satan, Satan be rebuked. Jesus was able to see the spirit that was moving Peter. And he says, in you, there is no desire for what is godly. That's what he said and described Satan to be. That's how he describes Satan. You do not have a desire for godliness. Desire for godliness. Father, deliver Peter from the spirit that is not Peter. That is not rock. That is not Christ. Deliver Peter from Simon, from the broken reed. Deliver the rock from what is not the rock. Deliver the church because the gates of Hades have faced us, have faced us, and they seem to be prevailing over us. Give us grace and utterance no in Jesus name